deploying scents is a very unique scenario in today's world. Um, Scent fire was, was something when it first came out, I was really intrigued by it. You know, you had a remote control, you could set timers inside it, and it would blast or it would shoot some vapor into the air. And I loved that idea because I knew how powerful scents in those types of situations could be. And I knew how powerful VS1 was and Rudding Buck, and I remember using it in a hunting situation where we deployed it out and literally had a buck walk up to it and sniff it. And right away I knew, okay, we've got something from a deployment system that'll work. Then fast forward a couple more years and Conquest has come out with another way to be able to deploy since. And, and it's one I never would have <laughs> kind of imagined, but it kind of goes back to our thermocells. And a lot of us as hunters use a thermocell. We use them to keep mosquitoes away and they're butane powered. You put the little, uh, pad inside it, you click it, you get it hot, and it sends it out, and voila, it works. We know it works because all of a sudden the mosquitoes are gone. So they've developed these pads now that are going to go inside of your thermocell to put Evercom, VS1, and Rudding Buck into the air. And if you're primarily going to do that in a time of the year where most people aren't hunting, you know, they or aren't using their thermocells. The mosquitoes are gone. You think about it up north. Uh, they're not messing with mosquitoes when it's below freezing, so the thermocells sitting at home, now they've got something they can deploy to put out to take advantage and use that thermocell to get that scent out into the air. You know, when you look at attracting a deer into a, into a hunting location, you're, you're basically, you know, you're, you're going to an area you know there's already deer at and now you're trying to get him to come in when you're there. And by, a, by putting out a, a VS1 type product, which is basically gonna be a doe that's ready to be bred. So by, in theory, you're making that buck think that there is a doe out there that wants to be bred. And so that buck's gonna come out of the thick cover into the area where you're gonna be hunting at. Whether you are deploying it in a stink stick, you're using a scent fire product, you're rubbing it, you know, with a, deploying it in this type of a manner here with a stick, or you're using one of the pads now, the ultimate goal is to get that buck to show itself while you're in the hunting stand so that you can harvest it. So when you combine all the assets that are available in that window of just before the rut has really kicked off into the rut and just when it's you know, ending, when those bucks are trolling long distances, you're putting yourself, you're giving yourself an opportunity to find success by using the attractant in this manner.